When I first moved, I was really lost, and esports genuinely changed the trajectory of my life. And now Dina's on her own. The third kill, looking for the fourth, and she's gonna clutch it! I actually first dreamed I could be a pro player when I watched a CPL finals of CS 1.6 in Dubai. I think it was like 2006 and 2007. I actually was born and raised in Dubai, so when I saw that, I was like, this is something I could actually do, and I, since then, like, strived for it. When I was in Dubai, I actually worked at a convention, um, and in this convention, we were hosting a 1.6 tournament. One of my friends, Josh, um, he came up with the idea that all of us should use Greek names, Greek god names. Um, and so they, obviously for me, they were like, you should be Athena, goddess of war, and you know that'd be really cool because it's 1.6. And I was like, yeah, sure, let's do it. We played for fun, but unfortunately, um, a week after that, my friend actually had passed away in a motorcycle accident. And so I figured that I would keep my in-game name because that was the last time I talked to him, just to honor him. Um, and then the X just kind of came in afterwards once I realized that Athena was just a really hard name to get. When I was first inspired to go pro, it did feel really impossible. I think I had a lot of um, things against me, like being a professional gamer is definitely a taboo subject in the Middle East. It's growing now. Uh, it's been years behind. That being said, it's also got to do with gender roles, especially like Middle Eastern culture where females and males have their specific gender roles. That was like a really big obstacle to overcome. After moving to North America, obviously I've made a name for myself and it's just been a lot more opportunities that I never used to see before back home. I actually kind of lost myself in the process. Um, I didn't really know who I was. The culture shock was really, really insane. Um, I actually went to school and studied something I didn't really care about. Um, and then eventually, slowly, when I went to school, I actually found um, a League of Legends club. And from there, I started getting more and more into esports and I found people that shared that passion. And obviously League of Legends isn't my game, but I actually ended up finding a female team to play CS with. And ever since then, like I started finding myself. Last and Athena, the last one. Spike down A. One gets three, one remaining. It can't be possible. Athena just does it all. My natural like leadership tendencies and trying to be a role model, that was all something that came afterwards. Being a team captain for me goes beyond just in-game. It's definitely out of game more. I make sure that my team is stretching, hydrated, eating enough. Um, I make sure everyone's warming up and trying to get on with their daily lives. If there are any issues or problems, I just want everyone to be able to talk to me and like be the person that's there for everyone. And so there is a little bit of pressure that comes with being the team captain, but it's something that I thrive on every day. Yeah, I was maybe destined to have the name Athena just because it fits so well. And being a leader is just something that I've always been. At first, I thought it was gonna be just a little bit harmless, you know, just playing as Athena, remembering my friend. But it's turned out to be so much more than that. There is a lot more pressure because Athena is a big deal. Um, I do have roots in Greece as well. So my Greek ancestors are gonna be looking down on me and I know they don't want me to mess this up. They wanna take the fight right to TSM here on this. But Athena starts to cut them all down. For this event, my goal and my dreams and everything is definitely just to win. I want to qualify to Berlin, and I think that us as a team, we want to do it for a million different reasons, but the main reason is that we just want to prove ourselves. Athena, very scary prospect to try and duel another 4K. TSM is definitely the underdog, and I think that that's something that we have against everyone. I think that a lot of people might overlook us or think that maybe we fluked last time, but we genuinely have been working hard, and I think that as a team, we've become 10 times closer in-game and out of game, and it just makes us understand each other better, and I think that that's a bond that is really rare to find. Here comes Athena, does get the kill. Beating C9 and beating Shopify is basically like our number one goal right now. Um, we came so close every single time, and so it's just pushing past that last obstacle, that last barrier, and I know that us as a team, at this time, we can do it. <laughs>